two questions. When I say luxury, what do you think of? Certain brand names? Cars? Yachts? Diamond rings? Second question is, who is luxury for? Celebrities? Wealthy people? Show-offs? How about you deserving luxury? In this video, I'm going to explain why you deserve luxury, whatever your situation or income, and what you should do about it. I'm Andre Taylor, and I have guided luxury brands, large and small, for more than two decades. Now, luxury brands want you to have luxury, but these are not the only luxuries that you deserve. Do you have a local retailer, restaurant, or service provider that delivers to its clients at a high level? Well, I'm talking about you deserving this as well. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to describe luxury as meaning two things. The first is the best of the best. In the second way, I want you to look at luxury as something that adds to your life, that others may see as unnecessary, but you see as desirable and maybe even essential. You can almost substitute the word excellence for luxury. So tell me, do you deserve excellence? I want you to think of this as adding excellence to your life, not brand names. Think of it as elegance and not expense. Think of it as quality, art, and design, and not brand names. Reflecting on my life, I was very fortunate to grow up in a home where luxury was normalized. Now, I'm not talking about brand names and bling for the sake of having it, but I'm talking about artful living. There was this expectation that we should all explore the finer things of life. Moreover, I grew up with no negative associations about luxury and no negative associations about wealth. Now, don't get me wrong, we were not wealthy, but we knew how to live in a way where we appreciated the finer things, expect them, and look for them. The subtext was, luxury is something you can enjoy if you deliver something to others of value and become successful at it. It was also clear that all kinds of luxuries are available to you if you are creative. If your motive is to live well in every way, you can do that. Many people only think of luxuries as a form of status. And some go too far in terms of thinking of luxury as frivolous or evil, as some sort of negativity associated with having nice things. The word luxury is often associated with news accounts of people involved in wrongdoing. They'll talk about what they did, and they'll also say that they spent the money on luxuries, or they were involved in luxury in some way. So there's often this negative association with luxury connected to people who do wrong. Now, part of this is this notion that you should not have status. And if you do, you probably did something wrong. There is often distrust and suspicion about people who have money and who can afford luxuries. For example, during the 2000 financial crisis, many people who were affluent and doing well despite the circumstances in the economy felt guilty about owning luxury, and they often would hide their cars and hide their high-end 
uh, items because they did not want others to see that they were enjoying life at a high level when so many other people were not. They feared being criticized. In many ways, the world tells you that you don't deserve luxury. Let's see why you have this. Let's see if you can afford this. Let's see what you did wrong to get this. I've even heard people say to me that in certain neighborhoods, they wonder, where did these people get all this money with suspicion? Now, despite this attitude, many people want luxury. Perhaps you want luxury. You'll also find many people want to project the image of having luxury, even if for some reason they can't do it financially. So in New York, many people flock to the people who are selling counterfeit bags and fake luxuries because they want to project the image of owning a certain brand name. And you've often seen these luxury thieves engage in brazen smash and grab robberies, jewelry stores, and shopping centers, and I'm not condoning any of this. You deserve excellence in the form of luxury. But you deserve what you can buy and acquire legally within your means and within your capabilities. That does not mean that you can't splurge or even stretch. You deserve luxury because there's so many beautiful things available. There's so much excellence available. Why should you not have it? As a human being, you have every right to enjoy excellence. You should always open your mind to new things, new experiences, and new possibilities. You should have the opportunity to own something of masterful craftsmanship, supreme beauty, and high value. You should be able to go great places, high-end places, and have great experiences. You should do it for the right reasons, though, and not for other people. Many people who choose not to have nice things and not to engage in luxury resist because they think that people do it for others and they don't want to be in that position. They think of it as an effort to impress others and they don't want to be in a position of trying to impress others. But you should enjoy luxury and things that are great because they're available. And you have an opportunity to select great things in your life, excellence in your life, and enjoy them. I think it is fine and, in fact, healthy to be aspirational. You should work on it. Expose yourself to nice things and experiences and magazines. Get intentional about what you'd like to do and have and understand the options. Enjoy the process and develop partnerships with providers of excellence. Have you ever heard someone say, I have a guy? Maybe it's someone who can do certain projects for them, or it's an artisan, or a craftsperson. These are the kinds of relationships you want to develop that will improve your life. Do you have someone who can, for example, frame artwork in your home? Do you have a tailor? someone who can make your clothing fit beautifully and can make sure that uh, you look your best when you go out. I believe you should gradually add great people, great products, and great experiences to your life. And in each step, your life will get better and better. Familiarize yourself with products and designers and special places and creative people. Many people think of luxury only in terms of opulence, but there are many forms of luxury, and I discussed this in my video, The 21 Essentials of Luxury, and I teach my business clients to understand the differences in luxury and all of the aspects associated with delivering luxury. And you'll want to take a look at that video because it will give you an insider's view of what we talk about behind the scenes in terms of serving luxury clients and delivering the best to those who want more luxury in their lives. 
In terms of luxury, you should be experimenting. How does adding more luxury make you feel? Does it expand your scope, your knowledge? Do you feel more worldly? Do you feel more possibilities for yourself? In stretching to purchase an item, did it improve your tastes and preferences? And did it even improve your capability of affording these things? Often when you create more desire to live a better life, to have better things in your life, it actually improves your earning power because you begin to believe that you have the capability of earning what is required to have those things in your life. In that way, luxury can expand your potential. You see, luxury is more than a thing. In fact, if the only luxury you have experienced has been discounted, challenge yourself by deciding that you will buy something full price. Now, why should you do that? Well, I believe you should have something excellent that you fully paid for. When you invest in something outside of the realm financially, it often expands what you believe you are capable of doing and often what you can do. It is an expansion of the mind. Maybe when you travel, you can rent a nicer car. Maybe you can own a nicer car. Maybe you can have more beautiful tableware. Maybe you can stay in a better hotel. The idea is to start where you are and to live more artfully. The next time you're rushing by a flower stand, pick up some flowers and think about putting some flowers on the table for dinner. How about a tablecloth? How about getting a little bit more dressed up for dinner? And how about instead of just having photographs lying around and on your phone, you frame those photographs so that they can be displayed and they look beautiful in your home. Maybe you're not ready for billionaires row here in New York City where all the billionaires live in those very thin skyscrapers, but you are ready to upgrade your life. Examine your beliefs for any negative associations you may have about luxury and wealth and the people who have it because that can be a barrier to you enjoying it. Now let's not overlook your finances and your wealth building plan. This is a mindset of quality, excellence, great design, and artful living. You never have to deny yourself that. However, you don't have to have it all at one time. You don't have to buy new. In fact, you don't even have to buy it all. Often, people will give you things because they will see that your mindset and your tastes are at a certain level. I've had people give me beautiful things because they knew I would appreciate it. Now don't fill your life with things that go down in value. Look for classic things that you can enjoy for a lifetime. So I have a question for you. Do you yet believe that you deserve luxury? Has this video helped you in any way? Think about luxury in a different way. I'd like to know what you think. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and share this video with someone that you believe should enjoy a better life. It's about expanding your expectations and your belief. Now it's time for you to start beginning to enjoy more luxury. Maybe it starts today with a bottle of wine or maybe it expands to you traveling to a beautiful vineyard where that wine came from. As you expand your scope, greater luxuries will come into your life. You deserve luxury. Now take a look at this video.